somewhere in space. This may all be happening right now. Yo, what's up? Professor Funk here in the arena. Much of what makes you who you are is your choice in music. Because on a Saturday night, it might define which club you go to, the people you hang out with, or the width of your pants. But can your choice in genre of music actually physically change you? Most people would say that uh, music can change your behaviour. Just like saying that listening to death metal will make you a more violent person, and that listening to emo will get you beaten up by the people that listen to death metal. But people rarely consider what music does to you on the inside, physiologically. Just listening to music can change you on the inside. Music is well known to increase your breathing rate and your pulse. And genres must do it in different ways. So this got me to thinking, will your brand of music make you skinny? So there is a possibility that your genre of music could get you burning more calories. I decided to investigate, and here's how I done it. First I picked four music genres. Indie pop represented by the Panics and their cruel guards. R&B represented by No Air. Drum and bass repped by the Brooks Brothers with Gold Rush. And finally, pub rock from the ultimate Akadaka, Thunderstruck. Yeah, 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 Thunderstruck! Now onto the experiments. For each test I got a subject, attached a heart rate monitor, got them to relax lying down for 15 minutes, and during this 15 minutes I recorded their heart rate every 15 seconds. Average all these out and you get the resting heart rate. Then I started throwing at them the four genres in a completely random order, with two minute silence in between just to let their heart rate settle again. Making sure that I recorded their heart rate at every 15 second interval, putting this data all together, we created Fail! God damn it! After playing these songs in random order to seven of my friends, this is what I discovered using the power of science. 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 All right, let's say that this note at the bottom of our scale here represents your resting heart rate. What your heart rate would be at if you're doing nothing. Listening to an R&B track like No Air, packed on an average of about two heartbeats per minute. Meanwhile, the panics raised people's pulses up to about three extra beats per minute. Akadaka added on another four. And leading the chase was drum and bass, pumping the pulse up an extra five beats per minute. And running off the calculations of my polar heart rate monitor, extra five beats per minute equals 300 extra beats per hour, and that equals an extra 20 calories burnt per hour. That's the equivalent of 10 Tic Tacs. Amazing. Now, this isn't altogether that surprising. A ton of studies have been done into the effect of music on your ticker. And one of those studies showed that the higher the tempo of the music, the bigger the increase in heart rate. So you'd sort of expect techno to get your heart rate going because of its high tempo and its predictable patterns of build-ups and breakdowns. Meanwhile, R&B is slower and more chilled out and generally has more quantity of suck. So I've shown that some genres lead to an increase in heart rate and the natural conclusion is that that increase would lead to burning more calories. But all in all, the difference is pretty much redundant, like Paris Hilton's acting career. Now the reality is that you're probably not going to get skinny just by listening to techno, or watching horror films, or sleeping in a bed filled with spiders that have crazy clown faces painted on their abdomens, though that would be awesome. Now this study doesn't try to say that one genre of music is better than another, or that listening to one genre will make you a better person. Or that drum and bass is to music what humans are to evolution. No! It's trying to say that you like your music because of how it makes you feel. Some people just want music to chill them out. Some people listen to music so that they can get hyped for a night out. And other people listen to Minimal House because they're idiots. Now I have to say that this isn't a solid piece of the science literature pie. It's just a bit of fun to investigate something weird. If you think I've done something wrong, leave a comment. And if you want to try the experiment yourself, do! And leave it as a video response to this video. Because there's plenty of cool things to investigate with this topic. 
I'm really interested to see who would actually burn more calories. Someone going to a pub, someone going to a rave, someone going to a concert, or someone going to an R&B club. It could be really interesting. There's science to be done, and you can do it! So go out and investigate something, okay? You never know, you might learn a thing or two. So, there you have it. This is Professor Funk saying, party on. What's up, me again, Pro Funk, just here to say this video was brought to you as part of National Science Week, which is happening across Australia August 16th to the 24th. If you want to know more, hit up the website www.scienceweek.info.au. Check it 